starting a year and a half ago, my dad, his life changed pretty much overnight. He was fully independent, driving, lived in an apartment, volunteering, and he fell. And then a whole host of other issues um, came with that, including myself becoming primary caretaker over him and making a lot of decisions for him. I stepped into that role as my mom had passed away many years ago and my brother lives out of state, uh, but I took it on knowing that it was God was gonna help me. Over that year and a half, there were several hospital trips and rehab stays, um, moves from assisted living, and then to finally a, a nursing home. And so this was really a shock when I received a call that my dad wasn't feeling well, and two hours later was rushed to the ER. Um, I arrived and he was in the trauma ER, hooked up to a bunch of machines, and I was so glad that on my way there, I began praying. I started praying in the Holy Spirit, and as I walked in, I literally felt like a cloud go with me. My dad was later transferred to the ICU, where at this point I knew this was different, and this was a battle. Uh, I had my tools, my Bible, my healing declarations, and my anointing oil, and I would go every day to the hospital and use these weapons. I would lay the Bible on my dad's chest and bring down the atmosphere there, and I did this. Holy Spirit gave me the energy to do this um, for a month, and I continued. Many times I didn't see anything change. My dad was unresponsive for um, the majority of that time, but I knew God was moving, and I could feel that in that hospital room. Two weeks into his hospital stay, he had to be put on a ventilator. So in the natural, this really looked like a step backwards. One of the seven days into the ventilator, I got a call from the doctor that um, it was time for acceptance, that this was going to be my dad's life and that he would uh, be on a machine for the rest of his life. And I listened and I, I hung up the phone and I was still that day. When I went into that hospital that evening, I'm walking down the hallway with a lot of emotions, but over all of that, a boldness came upon me and I walked into the room and I told the nurse, put it on the record, my dad is coming off the ventilator. And I said it again, put it on the record, my dad is coming off the ventilator. And I left, I left it in God's hands. The next morning, I received a call from the very same doctor and she had called to say, we've taken your dad off the ventilator. When we went in to see my dad that evening, he was fully awake, um, looking around, talking. These are all things that when you come off a ventilator, like are very difficult to do. And so we really saw the, we were seeing the victory. So I encourage you, Mount Hope family, no matter what that battle looks like, that we know that the Lord will win and that he's given us everything we need. Mm -hmm.